We're standing here today on the edge of two countries, India and Nepal. And what you see behind me is a flow of vehicles, people. There's a lot of business going on out here. What we don't see so clearly, though, is the evilness, the darkness, because some of these people are actually being trafficked against their will. For years and years and years, thousands and thousands of Nepali children, Nepali girls, and even older women have been trafficked into India, and from India they're taken into third countries like, you know, Middle Eastern countries. So this is such a need for us to do, be able to do something to prevent this. So our program allows us to install teams of people right at the border between Nepal and India. Is that what these girls and the, the men in the yellow shirts are yes, doing? Yes, that, okay. that's our staff. Okay. We have about 55 people okay. located in three different stations that cover uh, the three trading, major trading posts between Nepal and India. We've been able to rescue over 1,900 women, girls, and boys over the course of you know three, four years from three different stations. So it's been a huge, huge success just to be able to curtail the trafficking problem in Nepal. All day long, Seven just days watching for girls. Yes. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. And any of you who are parents out there, the feeling that you would have to have one of your own little girls just tricked by traffickers. And let's just say for the next 20 years of her little life, she is gonna be a slave to men and they're never to be heard of again. That would break my heart to have my own daughter caught in a situation where she can't get out and just to be used and abused day after day, night after night. I think that would break your heart too. I know it breaks mine. We need to do something about that.